It's tough to overstate the influence of Steve Jobs. Mac computers, iPhones, iTunes, even the movie business. In 1986, Jobs bought an animation studio you've probably heard of. It's Pixar. He helped turn that company into the household name it is today. But this week, Jobs announced he's resigning as the head of Apple, the company he helped found in his garage. He's had some serious medical problems in recent years, although his resignation announcement didn't mention that specifically. Poppy Harlow explores reaction to the news. The impact was immediate. Apple stock fell 5% in after-hours trading Wednesday when Steve Jobs announced he's stepping down as CEO. Fans of Jobs were surprised by the news. He resigned. Yes. I'm sorry to hear it because he was so great for the company. He's so creative, so innovative. Jobs, who has been on medical leave since January, released a statement. I have always said if there ever came a day when I could no longer meet my duties and expectations as Apple's CEO, I would be the first to let you know. Unfortunately, that day has come. It's really hard to overstate um, just how important Steve Jobs has been to business, um, to the economy, what he's done, because he's really revolutionized so many businesses. Computers, mobile phones, digital music, Jobs' influence has been unparalleled. His latest product, the iPad, continues to break records. Analysts say it's the fastest selling technological device ever. Jobs co-founded Apple in 1976 from his family's garage. Nine years later, a power struggle led to his exit. But Jobs returned again in 1996, soon after becoming CEO and transforming the company into what it is today, one of the biggest corporations in the world, worth nearly $350 billion. Earlier this month, Apple briefly passed ExxonMobil as the stock market's most valuable company. An iPod. A phone. Are you getting it? But it's not only because of Jobs' innovation. He's also a brilliant marketer. The secrecy and the kind of theater that Apple brings to every product launch, every other company in the world, whether they're in, you know, electronics, consumer electronics or, or clothing or automobiles, they, they, they can learn from Apple and what they do. In the only commencement address Jobs ever gave in 2005 at Stanford University, he touched upon the secret of his success. And the only way to do great work is to love what you do. If you haven't found it yet, keep looking and don't settle.